Russia-Ukraine news. The G20 declaration carefully avoids mentioning Russia's invasion of Ukraine and is not the appropriate venue for resolving geopolitical issues. In sharp contrast to their statement last year about the war in Ukraine, the Group of 20 did not appear to condemn Russia for the invasion in a declaration released on Saturday. China's Xi Jinping and Russia's Vladimir Putin weren't invited to the summit, which began on Saturday in New Delhi, India. Despite being invited, neither leader attended this year. Although the G20 recognized human suffering and negative added impacts of the war in Ukraine, they refrained from using any harsh language towards Russia in their statement. While recalling the discussion in Bali, the joint statement read, Concerning the war in Ukraine, we reiterated our national positions and resolutions adopted at the UN Security Council and the UN General Assembly, and underscored that all states must act in a manner consistent with the purposes and principles of the UN Charter in its entirety. Evidence from India's G20 invitation suggests the country may soon adopt an ancient Sanskrit name. All states must refrain from the threat or use of force to seek territorial acquisition against the territorial integrity and sovereignty or political independence of any state, the statement continued. Nuclear weapons use or threat of use is unacceptable. The G20 declared that the focus of their meeting would be on economic issues rather than security concerns. The authors acknowledged that the global food supply and energy security were affected by the Russo-Ukrainian conflict, but ultimately concluded that there were different views and assessments of the situation. Recognizing that while the G20 is not the platform to resolve geopolitical and security issues, we acknowledge that these issues can have significant consequences for the global economy, the group continued. Zelensky points a finger at Putin about the G20's UMMIT, praying that no occupiers will be present. The group's statement at the Bali summit in November 2017 was far more forceful than the mild one they issued this time around. The statement read, this group deplores in the strongest terms the aggression by the Russian Federation against Ukraine and demands its complete and unconditional withdrawal from the territory of Ukraine. Most members strongly condemned the war in Ukraine and emphasized it as causing immense human suffering and exacerbating existing fragilities in the global economy, the statement reads. This is stifling growth, increasing inflation, disrupting supply chains, increasing energy and food insecurity, and elevating risks to financial stability. To download the Fox News app, go here. The summit will wrap up on Sunday. The topics of food security, digital public infrastructure, and fossil fuel alternatives will be discussed over the course of the weekend. This report includes information from the Associated Press.